In 2020, Doom and Gloom Corporation discovered that equipment purchased on January 1st, 2018 for 145,000 was expensed in error at that time. The equipment should have been depreciated over five years with no residual value. The tax rate is 30%. Prepare Doom and Gloom's 2020 journal entry to correct the error and record 2020 depreciation. Assume income was reported accurately for tax purposes in all years. Okay, so Doom and Gloom has purchased equipment and they expensed it by accident. So what is this? So this is the correction of an accounting error. And as we know, we have to record an, the correction of an accounting error retroactively, which means we're gonna have an entry to retained earnings. The questions also asked us to record 2020 depreciation for the current year. What does it mean when it says assume income income is reported accurately for tax purposes in all years? Why are they telling us that? The reason that they're telling us that is because we assume that our taxable income isn't changing. So if we think back to chapter 18, when we were doing a reconciliation between accounting income and taxable income, we're assuming that there's no change to taxable income or our deferred tax asset or deferred tax liability basis except for the impact of the change, which means that we're gonna to need to think about how our deferred tax liabilities or deferred tax assets are gonna change as a result of the correction of this error. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna have is we're gonna have the equipment. So let's start with the beginning. So we know we're gonna have debit equipment for 145,000 because that's what it should have been on our books at. So that's easy. Next, we're going to have to record depreciation. So wh what depreciation would we have? Well, we've got the purchase price of the equipment at 145000 and it says it should have been depreciated over five years. So straight line depreciation over five years, straight line depreciation is 29000 per year. Oops, 29000 per year. Year, right? So how many years do we need to correct in the past? We need to correct 2018, 2019, 2018 and 2019, and 2018 and 2019. So we've got two years in the past to correct. Past correction. 2018, 2019, and then 2020 is our current year. So our current year's depreciation is going to be, this is our current year, 2020 depreciation. So when we record our entry here, we're going to have a debit to depreciation expense. And this is specifically for 2020. So this is the current year. That's why we're putting it through the income statement. So this is going to be 29,000 because it's one year's current depreciation. Then we're going to need to put a credit to our accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation. And how much is that going to be for? Well, it's going to be for our correction in the past, which was three years. So it's three years. So let's just think here. So we've got 2018, 2019, and 2020, because we've got this amount going through de accumulated depreciation. So we've got three years going through accumulated depreciation, two years from the past and the current year, because of course our current year's journal entry, aside from the error correction, would just be debit, depreciation, expense, credit, accumulated depreciation. That's why we have three years going through there, because we're mixing two things here. We're mixing the current year's journal entry and we're mixing the correction of the error. And next, we're going to have our deferred tax liability. So what is our deferred tax liability going to be on this amount? So what are we doing here? So we're decreasing our income. We're decreasing our accounting income, which means that the there's going to be a larger ta uh, temporary difference between the carrying value of the 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 asset on our books and the tax value of the asset. So because we are increasing the tax, the accounting value of the asset, we assume that the tax value is staying the same because we're told that it is. That means that our accounting income is higher than our taxable income, which means that 
where the tax basis is higher for accounting purposes than for tax purposes, which means that in the future, we're gonna have higher taxable income because we're gonna have less that we can deduct for the equipment compared to book purposes, which means that we're gonna have a deferred tax liability. So our deferred tax liability is gonna be, it's gonna be the 145,000 minus the 58,000 of the depreciation correction because it's, it's member, it's a, it's a balance sheet view. So we're taking off, it's the net book value of the assets or so net book value is gonna be 145,000 minus the 58 of the corrected depreciation times the tax rate. So our tax rate we're told is 30%. So let's take that. So it's gonna be the net book value of the asset, which we know should be, on a corrected basis is this amount and then times the tax value, 30%. Okay, so that gives us our deferred tax liability and this actually should be a credit on the debit. I think I just put the wrong letter in there. Okay, and then we're also gonna have a credit to retain earnings because we're pulling down our retained earnings. So we're increasing our retained earnings because previously we had expensed this asset and now we're putting it back on the book. So our retained earnings is actually gonna increase. And the increase in our retained earnings is simply going to be the difference. Or you can also, you could, you could calculate it as the plug, which would be fine. Or you could also calculate it as the, it's really the net book value less the accumulated tax impact. So arguably it's this plus this minus this and this, which is essentially the same thing. So the impact to retained earnings is gonna be 60,900. And the adjustment to retained earnings is the accumulated after-tax effect of the new, of the corrected, of the corrected statement um, to the beginning of the current year. And it represents all changes to the prior year's income. And that is how we would correct this, this uh, accounting error.